Space Jam A New Legacy is set to release in the United States on July 16th. Although the buzz for the film has yet to reach the heights of the first Space Jam movie, there's plenty of time and plenty of bets you can make regarding the new movie. What's up everybody and welcome back to The Sports Geek. I'm your host Jackie Ray. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And keep in mind, you don't have to bet on just sports. You can bet on entertainment as well. And with the NBA season ending in July, now is a good time to have some fun with your bets. Now, if you remember the first Space Jam, Jordan scored 44 points. So the first bet you can make is will King James score more than that? Now keep in mind Jordan was 33 when Space Jam was first filmed. LeBron is 36. Who knows if age will inflict the same type of setbacks in the fictional world as it does in real life. But since LeBron James and his longtime friend and business partner Maverick Carter are the producers on this film, I would say he definitely scores more. The odds for yes are negative 300 and no is plus 200. Now, if you're talking about who scores more in the supporting cast, for me, this one is all about Lola Bunny. She has been the focus of about every trailer we have seen and the girls got handles. So after LeBron, I am taking Lola Bunny to be the second leading scorer. And this is while knowing that Bugs Bunny is the most famous tune of all time. That is the only reason most sports books have him scoring more. Both are getting the over and under. Bugs is at plus 120 to score more than 12. He's at the same to score under 12 points. Lola Bunny is listed as negative 140 to score over 8 points and plus 100 to score under 8 points. This makes no sense to me, people. Do you remember the iconic alley-oop Dwayne Wade threw to LeBron James? We already know that is going to be recreated and LeBron is going to get the lob from Lola. So I'm betting Lola has at least 18 points. What is hilarious to see is how much fun some of these sports books are having describing these Looney Tune characters. One book says Daffy Duck is like Rondo. They say under normal conditions, Daffy would score a triple-double and have around 14 assists, 12 rebounds, and 9 points. But no one is expecting Daffy to come close to double figures in boards or assists, and he won't come close to double figures in points either. But he could score five, maybe six points if he gets a foul. The line for Daffy scoring over six points is plus 160. The under is minus 200. And let's not forget about guest appearances. In addition to the iconic role Michael Jordan played, Bill Murray was hilarious in the first Space Jam. So we'll either be back in the new legacy. The odds of Bill Murray making an appearance, yes, is listed at plus 1,000 with no at minus 2,000 and Jordan is listed at plus 2,500 and no is negative 5,000. I don't think either makes an appearance. I was worried about the Jumanji reboot because the first one was so good and it was so iconic, but what made both Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle and The Next Level really good was that they were entirely different from the original. And if Space Jam The New Legacy wants to have that same success, they should probably steer clear of the old ways. But either way, I think this movie is going to be a lot of fun. If you are planning to watch it and place a bet, please let me know which way you're leaning in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Sports Geek, and we'll see you next time.